An algorithm literally just discovered 50 new exoplanets and could find a lot more. Let's talk about it. Thank you guys for deciding to click on this video. I'd just like to ask you guys to like and subscribe down below. It helps a lot with the growth of the channel and it's much appreciated. Back to the content. Exoplanets are actually planets that orbit around a star that is not our sun. Exo comes from the Greek prefix outside and so it describes a planet that is outside our solar system. 4,000 of these exoplanets have been discovered and 1,000 are awaiting confirmation. The first two exoplanets were actually discovered in 1992 and they were orbiting a sun-like star. Prior to this discovery, planetary systems other than our own were theorized but no one had concrete evidence. So in 1992 it really made everything a lot more wide open because we finally knew that there were solar systems and well, we finally had concrete evidence that there were solar systems and planets outside of our own. We had data, we had footage. Quite fascinating, isn't it? The algorithm was used to comb through huge amounts of image data from telescopes um, that actually look for signs of planets. And this is the first time we've used machine learning algorithms to identify exoplanets from actual footage that we got from NASA, which is absolutely groundbreaking. There are around 4,200 confirmed exoplanets, but there are probably hundreds of millions to billions of other planets that are yet to be discovered in our galaxy alone. And a lot are being discovered as NASA continues to fund research for exoplanets. The algorithm was developed uh, at the University of Warwick, which is a university in the UK, and they were actually able to discriminate between real planets and fake ones in huge amount amounts of data. So obviously this was a form of classification as they had data sets that identified certain planets as fake and certain planets as real. Um, and NASA used this algorithm to be able to discover those exoplanets. Um, and so it was able to discover 50 planets or 50 candidates that are similar or very close to the data that showed that they were real planets. So the data showed that these planets were closest to real planets that they had in the data. Now the university claims that no one has ever used a machine learning algorithm for planet validation, which means identifying whether a planet is real or a star or some formation in one of our galaxies. Now, they did say that machine learning has been used to rank candidates, which are which ones are closest to real candidates and which ones are closest to fake candidates, but no machine learning algorithm has ever been used to validate whether a planet is real or not, which is absolutely fascinating. Now, astronomy is going to be a matter of large amounts of data and algorithms that will be able to sift through these large amount of data and be able to detect anomalies and candidates that best fit our definition of exoplanets. So astronomy is going to be a lot of sifting through big data and Forbes claims that modern astronomers will be data scientists. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you agree. The actual planets discovered, the 50 exoplanets that were discovered using this technique were a wide variety of types of planets. Some were far smaller than Earth. Some were a lot larger, some were gaseous, some were rocky, some were uh, structured differently than we've ever seen. 
Machine learning provides a very bright future for discovering planets in our solar system. And I know every time we talk about astronomy, we have to talk about Earth-like planets that could host life. Now, it's very important to consider the probability of an ex a, a biological existence in another planet um, and you know this whole theory about aliens existing and all that I don't really want to get into it because I don't understand I don't think anyone understands enough about it but I will say machine learning algorithms will allow us to get to a place where we will able will be able to discover so many planets that eventually one of them will be able to host biological life in some capacity and I think that's quite fascinating you guys for watching this video i want to go on a rant because this is something that really interests me astronomy has so many has so much nuance to it and there's a lot of things that i still don't understand but i think it's one of the fastest growing fields in science and it's actually endless so if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments of the applications of ai and astronomy and other fields in science and again, make sure to subscribe down below. It helps so much with the growth of the channel. But for now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this fascinating. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.